Part A of problem 28 asks the reader to draw a graph of B as a function of time from 0 seconds to 10 seconds. This is a quite simple problem because it doesn't even involve physics at all. You just use this function for B which they gave you in the problem where B is equal to 0 0.02t plus 0.01t squared and plug it into your graphing calculator or plug in the values of hand by hand you'll get this nice little graph right here. Your y-axis will be quite small. I chose from about 0.2 to 1.2, and then the x-axis is the 0 to 10 seconds. All right, that's all they need for part A. Part B asks the reader to find an expression for the induced current I of t as a function of time. To do this, we'll start with a mathematical representation of Faraday's law, which is d phi dt. Substituting in, we can equate it to the number of turn, turns in the coil times the area times dB dt. All we have to do now is plug in with some of the knowns that were given in the problem, such as n being 20 and the area being pi r squared or pi times 0 0.025 squared, which will simplify to 0 0.0019. And dB dt which is 0 0.02 plus 0 0.02t. Plugging that in, we get 20 times 0 0.0019 times 0 0.02 plus 0 0.02t. Next, we need to invoke Ohm's law and solve for i. So we'll have this divided by the res resistance, which was given as 0.5. So we have the simplified form of this, which is 7.6 times 10 to the 4th times t plus 1 divided by 0.5. Plugging this into your calculator, you can reduce it down to 0 0.0015 x plus 1. Sorry, that was a t plus 1. So, the current as a function of time is 0 0.00152 times t plus 1 amps. Part C of problem 28 asks the reader to evaluate i at t equals 5 seconds and t equals 10 seconds. We know i to be 0 0.00152 times t plus 1 amps from part B, so all we have to do is plug in 5 and 10 for the t. So for the current at t equals 5 is 0 0.00152 times 5 plus 1, which will simplify to 0 0.00912 amps. And that's that. For the current at t equals 10, all we have to do is plug in 10 for t. So we have 0 0.00152 times 10 plus 1, which will simplify to 0 0.016 amps.